So I'm here at the Abbey Stadium, just outside the Abbey Lounge, and I'm delighted to be joined by New Cambridge United loanee Adam Phillips' dad, Lee. Thank you for joining me, Lee. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. Um, so firstly, we'll, we'll start with um, Adam, and, and you know, firstly we'll talk about his career so far. Just for those who don't know, can you just give us a bit of an update on his, on his career, career so far and how he's got where he is today? Uh, he originally started at um, Blackburn Rovers, uh, played there till he was about, um, about 11, and then uh, moved, on, moved on to Liverpool Academy. Uh, where he spent probably nine years there, um, playing in the playing in the academy there, um, right through to uh, under 23s level, um, and then uh, unfortunately, due to due to probably a, a couple of bad injuries, well not bad injuries, but sort of prolonged injury and on a on a back, um, a, a stress fracture on his back, uh, sadly, he got released. So um, he. Uh, he was sort of become available, you know, a free agent, so to speak. Um, and then uh, Norwich, uh, Norwich had watched him and was interested in him, so that was where he ended up. Brilliant. And uh, you know, so he was. I guess you say he was at Liverpool so for nine years, was it? Yeah, nine years. Yeah, yeah. Nine years. So, yeah. so I guess in in the academy, you're sort of cocooned, if you like, in in one club. And then how how do you then deal with um, being released? How did he how did he react from obviously a young teenager? How was he? How did he deal from that and pick himself up from that? Obviously, it's disappointing, you know, that you get that you get released. Um, but you know, there's always other avenues that you you know you've got to look to look to other avenues that you can go down. You know, it's not it, um, you know it's not the end of the it's not, it's not the end of the road. You know, what I mean, like I said, unfortunately, the, being at a, one of probably the downfalls of being at a big club is that you. There's always somebody there wanting to step in. You know, somebody. There's always somebody better than you, or you know, wanting to be better than you behind you. So you know, if you, Adam probably missed twelve months of playing. You know, with his injuries. You know, over two two spells of bad uh, a back injury. So twelve months in in you know youth football is missing is, is a lot. You know. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and so talking about academies as a whole, there's been a lot of. Um Speculation recently, and sort of talk about, you know, is it fair on kids that these get these kids get poached at such young ages? And you know, how how did you did you see any experience that as a parent, or, or what's your view on that on that as a, as a whole? Uh, there's been, a, to be honest, there's been a lot of changes in over academies uh, over the over probably since Adam started really, because I know when Adam first started, there was always a there was always what what they called a catchment area where you I mean those clubs could only scout within a so many mile radius of the actual academy. There was always little loopholes as to how they could. Get Get around it, but um, probably over the last probably four, four or five years, it has changed. So the radius has become nationwide. So yeah, you you, you can get you can get a situation where the bigger clubs can come in and you know lure them lure them away, sort of thing. You know. Yeah. And uh, and just moving on to today's game, the, the, the lineup will probably be announced in what about fifteen minutes or so. If, if Adam does play today, what what can we expect from him? Uh, he likes to he likes to pass the ball. He's you know he's got quite a good range of pass in him. You know um, he can he can pass the ball sixty yards and, and it be on the on the person's uh, on the player's uh, toe straight away. Um, he like he likes a set piece. Whether he'll whether he'll get into that today, I don't know. Uh, with him being you know first game, um, but yeah, he's, he's a he's a very good reader of the ball. You know he'll you know of the game. I should say he'll, he'll you know pick a pass out. You know so. Um, whatever way on the floor in the air, you know. But uh, you know, and, and also you know, like, likes a good tackle as well. Yeah. <laughs> and you speak about people like reading the game, a good reader of the game. What do you reckon sets players apart at academy level? Then, because obviously they're all going to be a high standard of, of ability. What then sets them apart to then go on and reach the the top level or, or you know level of, of playing regularly week in week out? Um, I think I think it's you know it's it's being switched on between you know between you know learning quicker you know between each other you know you know because sometimes you can you at the, at the lower when when they when they first do start they can you know you you can sometimes see that the better players that obviously shine more and they're not always reading a game better than a than a you know than a you know, you know than a normal player so it's it's general trying to get everybody to to you know to read the game together sort of thing you know in that sense yeah brilliant and uh, and sort of Talking then about CUF Cambridge United and how um, this move came about, was it always planned when he was at Norwich that he would go out on loan at this stage, or or was there just an offer came in from Cambridge and it, and it seemed right? It was well, it wasn't necessarily planned straight from the off, but obviously you know depending on his on his, on his position at Norwich, you know um, um, 
he was getting obviously regular, which he, ha he hasn't been doing for probably six months. He'd been getting regular 23s game, and it, it's unfortunately he'd come to a stage in the 23s where it was like he needed that next step, you know. And there wasn't a there wasn't a regular place available at Norwich, so you know the club recommend you know that your next step is go out on loan to to get the you know to get the regular football and as they call it men's football <laughs> yeah and i'm sure sure we'll do well today and and finally for you are you a are you a nervous watcher excited watch how, how do you how do you fare when the whistle goes uh well, say nervous probably probably more excited really you know because it's great to see you know if he gets on he gets his you know makes his debut it's his you know first professional debut so it'd be you know a nice achievement because i've done a hell of a lot of driving around the country in you know, over my years so so it's uh you know but no it's just it's just great just to see you know He's always, he's always ever Adam's always ever wanted all he's ever wanted to do is just play football you know at whatever level he doesn't mind you know so it's you know whatever he does whether the next step it's an, it's an achievement whatever he does so brilliant thanks very much Liam thanks for joining me and uh, wish Adam well today no problem thank you very much.